Now to an interview you will see only on 10. A window washer who fell 10 stories is opening up about those scary moments from his hospital bed. We first told you about this Friday after the man fell from a high rise in downtown Newport News. Tonight, doctors are still treating him at Norfolk General Hospital. That's where we find 10 on your side's Joe Fisher. And Joe, most people would call this a miracle. Well, Anita, a longtime trauma nurse here at Centera Norfolk General says she's only seen this kind of quick recovery after such a serious accident about two or three times in her 10 years on the job. Tonight, Martin Stanford is not just breathing, he's moving, he's talking, even smiling. Because I'm supposed to be dead right now. I'm still here breathing. Defying the odds, Martin Stanford is expected to make a full recovery after free falling 10 stories from the Maritime Square building in downtown Newport News. I feel fine. Just let it be alive. Just three days after the window washer fell and just hours after doctors discharged him from the ICU, Stanford says he doesn't remember the impact. When I first started dropping, I saw how up I was. The first thing I thought was I was about to die. Stanford says he stood for the first time Monday morning after three days of surgeries, strong enough now to eat and sip his tea. The 24 year old now in a body cast says he has a broken arm, broken foot, broken backbones and bruises on his lungs and heart. I got a plate in my left arm that's going to be there forever and I got some screws in my right foot. That's going to be there. 10 on your side has confirmed Stanford worked for Pro Window, a Virginia Beach based company. He says he's been employed there for a few months, but started repelling buildings five days before the accident. The Virginia Department of Labor says they're investigating what went wrong. That wasn't supposed to fall. The harness should have stopped me from falling. And it didn't, so I want to know how I feel. Fire investigators say a man who witnessed the fall quickly called for help. Stanford, thankful for that man and a second chance at life. I just thank him for, for seeing me and for calling because if nobody saw it, nobody would ever know I fell from the roof. And I've still been hanging on the roof right now. And I did call Pro Window today. A woman by the name of Jocelyn answered the phone, but she would not give me her last name or her position. She just said that the company had no comment regarding this incident. Meanwhile, the Virginia Department of Labor says they have six months to issue any citations for any wrongdoing. We're live in Satara Norfolk General tonight. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.